Photoshop Touch. And I'm just going to take a really simple example. And um, so here is a, a picture of a lady on a background over there. And um, we're going to extract her from this background and put her on a new image to create a whole new effect. And you notice over here, this is um, how you do selection for all the tools, the familiar tools that you would usually have um, in Photoshop. But there are some here that are designed specifically for the kind of, of um, interaction on devices. For example, this scribble tool is brand new. So that was me, sorry. Special effects, that's cool. Um, all right, so here you can, you can define what it is in the image you want to keep. All right, and then I can define what it is I want to remove. And it'll mask it. I actually masked it pretty well, but I can do it a little better. So I also want to keep this over here. And then I want to remove that part over there. That's actually pretty good. All right, let's get the edge a little clearer around her hair. Okay, I'm going to hit OK. All right, so now we've got really nice masking. And I'm going to create a new layer from the selection. And then let me add an effect to that. Let's give it a nice ghostly effect. There, make it look. See, that's what it was before. Let's make it nice and like that. There we go. Hit apply. And I'm going to turn off the other background. And there we've got a new image already there. And let's uh, deselect. And then take the background over here. Actually, let's select that layer. Take the background and give it a nice blur to me. There we go. It makes it look a little more, a little, a little more eerie over there. And hit apply. And there you've got a brand new image, and then you know, things like um, you can um, see a, th a 3D representation of what the layers actually look like. You can even use the accelerometer for it. All right. So this is this kind of interaction, the scribble, the touch, the selection that way, using accelerometer, this is obviously stuff that isn't on Photoshop desktop. It's new user interfaces we've imagined and created specifically for how users might use these devices. And that's just one example. There are a lot more of those.